Hello, this is Don Downey with Forest Metrics. This is a quick video to walk you through setting up your first cruise. We're going to assume that you've already set up your template, you've set up your species list, your products, your sampling method. So all of those settings that you set up in your template will be preserved for this new project. So we open up our template and we go to new project. Now we need to enter a cruise file name. Now this is the name that the that the cruise that the file will actually be called. So you probably want to keep these systematic. You know, a, a name and a date, a, a project name. I'll just say Johnson uh, uh, Sale. Enter a date. Now this is optional. This is information that will show up just on the reports. And if this wants to be, you know, the 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 date that the data was acquired in the field, it could be the date that the uh, the bid goes out. Uh, it's it's the date that's going to show up. So we'll say May fourth and 2018. Job name. This could be the same as the file name, but again, this is the one that will show up on the reports and you could enter in an address etc now there are two ways to start a cruise in this early version one is just to start a cruise with a single plot you hit that button it'll close down your template it'll open up this new cruise file named johnson sale and you will go to that first plot and start tallying and add plots as you go now alternatively you can create stands and plots and by that we mean if you have a grid laid out already, or you, you, you've already established, maybe roughed out some stand boundaries, um, you can say, yes, I have, I, have four, I have four stands. So we can add a stand. Stand one is 52 acres, and I, need, uh, I have 17 plots laid out. I'm going to add another stand. Stand two, uh, 40 acres or 40.3 acres, and I need 15 plots there, and so forth. Now, all of these things you can change later, like most things in Forest Metrics Pro. You could change your stand acreages later. You could stratify your plots differently. This is really just meant to be kind of the quick set. Setup. If you want to get the whole cruise populated, so you get to the woods and you say, hey, I'm going to plot 27 and off to the races. So again, nothing you're doing here is set in stone. We'll have a small stand, we'll say 12 acres, six plots. At the bottom, we say ready, start. And this will, as we said, close down the template. And now you've opened up a new cruise file um, with, you'll see a different set of menus. You'll see file functions at the bottom, and you'll see kind of cruising functions at the top. In the next video, we'll talk about capturing data.